Hi everybody. I know we're launching the shipping container project and I just wanted to give you some ways of thinking about how you might approach this formally. These are called Froebel blocks. Froebel was an early childhood education specialist in the 19th century. This is a toy that he came up with for small children. Maybe that's why I like it so much. What these are, as you can see, is simply eight one-inch cubes made out of wood. You can make them out of something else, I suppose. He made his out of wood. I love these sets because they can help me think about space and spaces and volumes in a way that it can be hard for me to think about them uh, if it's drawn on paper. So for example, these could be uh, you know, rooms in a building structure. They could be individual buildings on a street. If I'm thinking about adjacencies, you know, if this is a street and these are alleys and there's a tall building here and a tall building here and I'm working in that building, they can end up being, you know, cabinets and a, and a refrigerator in a kitchen, right? So there are a lot of ways that you can use these and I particularly like them because they make me think in volumes, not in flat drawings on the ground. So I actually have two sets of these because if you have two sets of these and you put them together and you imagine this being a five foot cube, then you actually have something that's a pretty good analog for our shipping container. This would be 10 by 10 by 20. Our shipping container is eight by eight by 20. So it's not quite exactly right, but it's in the, it's, it's in the ballpark. And the reason I think this is helpful is that I can th use these to think about how I might divide up that space. For example, maybe I break it into two parts, two eight by eight foot cubes, and then maybe there's a glass transept that comes through like that. Maybe I further break it up and put glass here. And so now I have a glass volume breaking through and then another glass volume there. Maybe I do something else entirely. Maybe I want to break it like this and build glass here, make a glass cube there. And so now I've tripled my square footage. Maybe there's just a little easing of that corner there with again, glass or metal or something else. Maybe it's a combination of those, and then I pull off part and make that into a, a glass box. Remember, this would be a eight by eight by five foot volume, which is just about the size of probably your bed at home. So you could put, as you could fit a sofa in there, and you would have a sort of beautiful vista out coming out this way. So there are a lot of ways to use these blocks. And the reason that I like them, as I say, is that it can force you to think in terms of volumes. Because remember that we're dealing with volume. We don't live in floor plan. And this just lets you explore lots of options, right? There's nothing that says you couldn't stand this thing on end. Now that makes for some very funky, narrow little spaces, but what if you did that? Or what if you stood it on end and then removed that and came up a spiral staircase here out onto a veranda, right? There are all kinds of ways that you can think about using that volume. And I just wanted to put some of those in your head so that you could think about it as you were moving forward. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. I think it's gonna be great. Hey, I first found out about Froebel blocks from Eric Reinhold over at 30 by 40 Design Workshop. Here's a link to his YouTube channel. He has a lot of great tutorials about how to draw, uh, design advice for students, uh, some really great information, and I can't recommend him highly enough. You should go check him out.